Hello everyone, this is Valerie at my Scrap Chick, and here is the new Easter Bunny chocolate bar wrap. And it, what this is, is a real fun little wrapper that will hold a Hershey bar. And it would hold either the one with the almonds, it'll also hold the plain chocolate. And this is a really a fun way to give some chocolate treats come Easter. And this little belly band slides right over. It has a big 3D bow. Slides right up and he holds the wrap closed. So I'll, we'll show how to put this together. And here's all of our pieces laid out here. This is the basic piece of the wrap itself. And here's all the bunny parts. So I think what we'll do first is put the bunny together. And get his little ears down here and his nose. So we have this. And now what I'm going to do is glue this face to this piece of black backing. And that way all of the, uh, the little mouth whiskers and eyes will show. So, just take my glue here, and I recommend putting the glue on the white piece instead of on the back, on the black part, because this way you know that the, um, the glue is not going to seep through. Okay, and so I'm just going to flip this over and apply the glue. And then I'm going to put the uh, the black piece on here, and I recommend to put it. Oops, see, I recommend putting the black piece on from this side because then you can see what if you've got a little bit of a white edge all the way around. I made the black piece just a little bit smaller, so that way you can hide it. And then we're going to put his face on there. Put some glue on the back of this. Oh, I need to clean out my little glue bottle here, don't I? And what we're going to do is line up the face along the edges there. Okay, and then we'll add his ears. Okay, so I cleaned up my tip real quick. So we put the glue on the back of the ear and we will line the edge right up to the top of the head and push that down. And you'll notice that the, the shape of the ear, it goes like this and it does not go this way. So, you want it going that way. <laughs> and we'll do the same thing here. Push it right up against the edge of the top of the head there and push that down. And then I'm going to take these little tweezers and use that to hold the nose. And we'll push that down right right above there okay and so now I'm going to take this and I am going to put it on the candy bar wrap this has score lines you could go through and, and fold all these score lines first this has a flap that folds up, and this is what holds the candy bar inside so it doesn't slip out the bottom. Okay. 
and it's going to fold that way. So I'm going to turn this face down, run some glue along all the edges here, and then I will attach this to the front of the wrap. And the nice thing with this, the way this is done, you can use any color for the base of the wrap if you like. And we do this and then we line it up along with all the ears there. And there we have the base. So now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the egg. I'll say these are the uh, hands and the feet and I'll put those on after I put the egg on. And so these are the layers for the egg. Line that up. I've seen too on uh, in our Facebook group with some of our other wraps, I see where people have taken these wraps and they have reduced the size to fit some of the smaller candy bars. And I thought that was a really clever idea. I don't know how much they reduce it by, but that would be a fun thing to try. Okay, and so now I'm going to place the egg on the front here and the feet are gonna go on here. So I'm gonna keep it pretty close to the bottom. Not all the way to the bottom, but close. And it goes right in the center there. And then we'll take the feet and put those on. Here's the uh, one thing I recommend on the feet. Run a little bead of glue right along the bottom and then across the top. And I wouldn't put a whole bunch right in the middle. And I'll show you why. When you go to put these on, you line this up along the bottom, push the glue here, and then push up here on the top of the feet, and then it sort of bends over that layer of the egg, and you won't get a crease mark that way when you do that. So now next we're going to do the arms, and the arms have a slight, very, very slight curve right here. And that's going to go right up on the crook of the shoulder here. So, and I'm going to do the same thing with the arm where I put a, a bead of glue there and then one over down towards the bottom and then line it right up there. And I push here and push there, but I don't push along there because I don't want to get that crease across across where the uh, egg goes, so. And same thing, I'm gonna line this right up. Push down on the fingers and then up further like this. And there he's holding the egg. And so now we are going to, we're going to do the ribbon that is going to hold this all closed. This is the belly band, and I recommend on the bow, this is a 3D bow, and the paper that I'm using is a lightweight paper. And the reason I like to do that is I can use this to kind of create a bit of a bend in the bow. So I got that little bit of a bend, and then I'm going to put a dot of glue right here. And I'm going to line up one side of the bow without pushing down here. That way I don't get that crease. And add another dot. And line up the other side. Whoops. 
glue is still wet there. Okay, so you have this piece done, and then this is going to line up right in the center of the back, the back of the bow. So I'm going to put a small dot of glue here and line it up right along that curve. <laughs> there we go. Okay, then now we're going to put the knot on. So what I do is I, I turn the bow over. I put a little bit of glue right here on the back. Put one edge. Oh, the same thing here too. This is handy to give this a little bit of a bend, a natural curve. So I, I put one side down here. Roll it around. And I'm going to put another dot of glue on top here and push down the other side. And there we have the bow. And so now this is going to line up. I'm going to glue it to the belly band itself right there in the middle. The belly band has this little dip, and that's where we're going to put the bow. And we'll let that dry for just a few seconds here before we add it to the candy bar. And so now take the candy bar. I like to put the belly band on with the candy bar in there because then you get a real accurate, a lot more accurate sizing, making sure that your belly band is not too tight. So I lay the belly band across the bar like this and then just gently fold with my fingers to go to the back. And then you can turn this over. And put some glue on one side here. And then we're going to glue that down and keep those edges lined up. Right like that. And I don't make the belly band really tight because we want to be able to slide it on and off easily. And so there we go with this. And you can see the belly band will slide on and off. There's the Easter Bunny chocolate bar wrap. These are a really fun way to give out just quick little fun gifts to people. Use them for classmates, co-workers. So there we have it. And we'll put a link to the product page in the comments below. So there you go. Thanks. Enjoy.